Good morning, everyone who is subscribed to my YouTube channel. It's been quite the dramatic weekend for me. Uh, okay, so rarely do I post videos on hair, but this is the most ridiculous hair experience I've had in several years. Well, this is like, yeah, my hair is a lot shorter, not by my choice, by someone else's choice. Uh, this uh, person by the name of Joaquin was highly recommended by these two, by these, I'm sorry, by an older woman and her young, adorable daughter. And of course, they have stick straight hair. Their hair is super straight. Mine isn't. Mine is frizzy, wavy, curly, eccentric, crazy hair. So I made the huge mistake of following this woman's advice, going next door after um, going out to Mochi 2D Donuts with my dog Troika over here. That's my puppers snoozing with me. Um, so I impulsively said, I need a trim. Um, I am uh, interested in kind of like a lob you know, a uh, bobby kind of look hitting around here, you know, maybe in a, a year from down the road. And so he goes through my entire head of hair and lies to me and said that the previous person used um, shearing scissors or something like texturizing scissors and thinned out all my hair. And that's not true. I never requested shearing scissors and the people that I went to are professional. Um, last person I went to is a master stylist and he never used um, thinning shears on me or anything like that. So this guy is giving me the story about how my hair was over texturized and it's like a mullet, it's longer in the back and way shorter in the front and missing a lot of hair in the front. So he talks me into cutting a full inch off my length and then asked me if I like to wear my hair straight and or curly. So I told Joaquin, his, his last name is Hinojosa, Japanese sounding last name. This guy is Latino, okay? My mother was from Brazil. This isn't like a racist video. This is a me video upset that I lost a lot of hair on the chair. So he's bamboozling me and telling me that everything needs to be chopped from fresh and he's going to give me short layers and I'm the idiot who agreed to all of this and then he um had me you know blow dry blow drown blow dried out and made everything look really sexy while I was in the chair but uh yesterday on Sunday I felt weird about the entire experience and I said I got to take a shower. I got to feel how much hair I actually did lose. Um, he, what he did was he made so many choppy layers everywhere, everywhere, right? That in six months time to a year, I'll get my Afro back. You know, I had an Afro, my Jufro. I like my Jufro. My Jufro makes me happy. I have nothing wrong with froze. I like afros, okay? Froze are cool. My mom had a fro. I have a fro. Well, what he did was he removed the width of my hair and put in all these choppy layers. And when I took the shower, I felt like, oh my God, my hair's not heavy like it used to be. So then I wrote an honest review. I gave him a two-star review initially. Didn't realize he was going to be calling me in a panic Three minutes later, I ignored the call because I was super angry at him. But I left him a two-star review on Yelp, two-star review on Google. I thought I was being fair. He gets medieval on me and leaves me a nasty one-star review on my Google page, insinuating that I'm mentally ill. No, I'm not mentally ill. I'm a woman who just got a weird haircut that I didn't ask for. And when I left his chair... I saw inches, two inch pieces of incredibly healthy, healthy hair. I don't bleach my hair. I don't blow dry my hair. 
He gave me a blow dry out as a treat. I let my hair air dry. I don't damage it with chemicals. He had cut off inches of incredibly healthy, beautiful hair um, for no reason at all other than ego. Like he knows what's best. And then he has the nerve to go to my Google page and he never uh, scheduled a session with me and berate me in a public setting. So I replied, I replied to him and I wrote, yeah, I don't recommend your services to anybody in Lakeview who has curly wavy hair. So yeah, this guy lives in Lakeview. He has a shop on Lakeview right to, right next to um, 2D, you know, 2D donuts, mochi donuts. His name is Joaquin Hinojosa. And I mean, Bully for you if you got straight hair. Maybe he's going to do a great job, okay? Um, but avoid him like the plague if your hair has texture like curls and waves. He has no idea how to take care of that kind of hair. And then I'm leaving this short and sweet. You have a great day. That's all I'm going to leave for now. Adios, amigos, and ciao. <laughs> but hair grows. Hey, that's the nice thing. Hair grows. You're not going to see me crying over this. Hair grows. I got rosemary oil. I take biotin gummies. We're all good. And thanks for listening. And that's the pup right over here. Isn't he a beautiful guy? And he knows that hair grows too. Ciao.